Okay, so let me get my team builder up. Okay, so yeah, this is the EV spread that I'm going to try to get it with Jolly Nature. Max attack, max speed. I need to invest in HP so that after two, after one belly drop and two substitute, I can activate my select berry for it. So yeah, SQ is going to be useful in this matchup. So yeah, we're jolly nature with max attack and max speed. So first... I have a Pokerius, so I'm going to... I need to infect my Ice Face with Pokerius. Let me infect first before I don't use Metagross to EV train it. Then I want to disconnect into the internet because I don't need it for a time being. Then let me infect. Hopefully, I don't get. Oh no, I don't want to get this. Oh! Oh, attack and speed is just right here. <laughs> oh, that is so convenient. <laughs> so yeah, Dubider has an attack. Dubider has an attack. EV. If you know what I mean. Yeah, meaning that if I feign this Dubider, I will gain an attack boost. Stats of effort value. And ZZ Goon has a speed stats over here. Bond slide? I'm not sure. I need to check. I'm not sure whether it's a HP or a special defense. I, I got this feeling in special defense. So in order to infect your own mon, you just encounter a batter or a trainer and you can just run away. Don't catch it because it will effort. if you catch it or if you're gonna defeat it, it will eat up into your effort value. Oh it's a female SQ. So yeah, it's gonna take some time for me to in fact, it. Oh, Gola is also another attack, attack boost. Wait, do I have? Oh, psychic and meteor mesh. Yeah, it's medical is not a good option to train. I'm going to use my other mons for it. Yes, okay. And now I will switch into Intellion. And I'm gonna do some switch training with it. So, make sure you have all the power items. So that it's easier for you to 
to maneuver. Power Ankler is to train speed. Power Bracelet is to train your attack. Oh no. So the reason why I should make it Intel I, I make Intelion hold the speed so that it will be faster for me to trade. So let's say if I'm gonna face with a uh, attack mon, I can just train it right up. If I want to train my speed, I just switch my items over like this. Yeah. So that it's easier for me and not to go and find in the back again. It's a lot slower this way. So attack. I see an attack. I remember I see a uh, attack. Oh, that's what means is it good? I thought I just saw another good look. Oh, a two buyer. Okay, never mind. This good is here, so I guess I will train with my speed. So is it good? Come. So yes, even though Injas has a speed stat. But it has two effort value of speed, so you don't want to defeat it because the calc it will mess up your calculation. Uh, I want to use water pulse because the pilot is half water, so water pulse will do less damage into the pilot. So yeah, this is how you train effort value train. So yeah, the how the calculation works is that with Pokerius, it will double the effort value. If you attack without the Pokerius, if you just attack without Pokerius and any item, if you just attack the Mon, let's say this is a, this is a good, I will gain one speed. If I make it a whole a uh, power item, a power anchor, it will plus every Mon defeated, it will plus eight speed stats. So one plus eight. If I defeat a Mon, uh, if I defeat a ZZ Goon with my Power Anklet, I will earn 1 plus 8 equals to 9 effort value. With Pokerius, 9, it will double the effort value gain, so 9 times 2, 18. I will gain 18 effort value just by defeating 1 ZZ Goon. So a total stats of 252, actually by right 255, uh, but yeah, 255. Okay, let me pause there for a moment, just in case it gets too confusing. So I think this might be a, a better explanation. So this, if you look at my mouse, uh, HP, this is a HP attribute, attack attribute, defense attribute, special attack, special defense, and a speed attribute. So for each attribute, you can get a maximum of 255 effort value. And for every 4 effort value, you will gain one stats. So let's take for example, if there's no effort value invested, this SQ will have 196, 196 attack. If I train for effort value, it will gain one stat of attack. So that's what I mean. That's what I meant by gaining one stat. So a maximum of an attribute you can gain is 255. But because every four effort value you will gain one stat, two five five divided by four it will give you a decimal point. So the extra decimal point it will be forfeited. So that's why two five two is an effective effort value because two five two divided by four is fourteen, which means that if you defeat fourteen times with Pokerius and a power item, you will gain two hundred and fifty two effort value. So. That is what I was trying to say, and a total amount of, and the total amount of a Pokemon can have is a five hundred and ten effort value, meaning, as long. I can just pump, let's say, hundred effort hit on HP, hundred, in defense, hundred in. HP attack defense and another hundred, in special. I mean, in just. I, I'm just say for example, if you want it that, if you want to have an effort value spread in this way, but of course I don't think you will do that. 
So yeah, that's where I can have a well, that's where I can maximize my effort value if I were to pump everything all into into it. But if you were to do a competitive build, this is not really a good way because uh even though you have hundred attack, you did not maximize your attack. So in this way, it kind of makes this Pokemon more of a general attacker and a defense. But you tend, but you will try to make a Pokemon to be a carry or a tanker, so and not a general sweeper or a support. So yeah, that's what it meant. That's what I've been trying to say. So yeah, I hope you have a better understanding and move on to the video. As you can get a maximum of 255 effort value for one stats but the reason why we use 252 is because for every 4 effort value you will gain 1 stats mean, meaning if I gain 4 effort value I will plus let's say if I gain 4 speed effort value I will gain 1 stats of speed that's what you mean. So 252 divided by 4 is about 14. Yeah, it's 14. So if I defeat 14 ZZ Goon, I will gain a maximum of 252 stats. And that will max out my speed for it. So that's how you do an EV train. Uh, Dwebble is not an attack. Go like this. But since I'm already holding my speed, uh, let me attack into Zizekun. So yeah, that's how you EV train. So yeah, once I finish EV training, I think I'll end the stream. I think by the time I finish EV training, it's time for me for lunch. So yeah. Iron, that is even faster, of course. But it's quite specific, as in, in the sense that if you 
you use a power icon, you'll gain one, you'll gain uh, immediate 10 effort value. Pokeros will not stack it, so yeah. I believe it's Chimo, if I... Oh, this is a bit easier. <laughs> I believe it's Chimo, this is a bit easier. 11, yeah, Chimo. No, after this, 2 more. 18, 20 minus 18 is 12, so 2 more, yeah. Yeah, this is a bit easier. And now I can focus on attack now. Which is Golux. Yeah, also just gotta be careful. Under a very strong sandstorm, you might miss your attack. So just take all of it. Yeah. <laughs> just take all the count. If you miss, you have to use another attack. So now I'm going for attack now. Go to where are you? <coughs> Bow toy is not attack. Formentis is attack, but I don't get to see Formentis. Do... Drabble. Drabble, I'm not sure. Uh, let me check if Drabble is an attack. So it's faster for me. Oh, no, not this. No. No, Drabble is defense. So yeah, I can't fight Drabble. Yeah, unfortunately, Golda is not really a good spawn here. I think. I'm not sure this. The spawn here is better or the, the area that I want. The area that I try to. But I always farm for attack. Oh. Oh, Dribble is here. <laughs> okay, Dribble is here. Nice, nice. I guess I can also try to start for the exclamation mark. Yeah, Dribble is attack. Oh my gosh, Fisher. <laughs> okay. I think it's a good idea if I get rid of the power item. <laughs> Lost power item will half of speed. Let me, get, let me get the power item away, so that I can outspeed it. That was scary. Imagine if it shoots me. Oh man, that's a goner. I'm a goner. No! Oh. I can't see the bonsai, it's so small. Okay, Rhyhorn is not. Unfortunately, Rhyhorn is not a... It's not, it's not an attack. So you gotta run away from it. You shouldn't really get that true. Or I hope I don't get that true. Yeah, I do the... Wait, is he also an attack, Stafu? I can't remember if Stafu is an attack. I think so. Yes, Stafu is an attack. How I know Stafu is an attack? Yeah, let me show you. Yeah, if you scroll all the way down, you can see the effort value. Uh, let me move the chatbot away. Yeah, you can see the effort value is attack. So yeah, you see one means you gain one effort value. That's how I. That's how you determine it. So yeah, but Obedia, one of the place to know that you to know a place that you can find information from. So shout out to him. <laughs> Yeah, stuff. I guess this is a better option to train attack in the overworld, I mean. But I feel the best option is uh, if you're lazy to do the day as right, to skip a day, you can just go to the down line.
No, I don't want to good. I have enough of you. Yeah, the attacks, most with attack boost has not much consistent in terms of like, it's not always, it depends on how to let the Pokemon spawn. Attack is the worst, yeah. Of all the effort values, if you want to change effort value, attack is the worst. The best is defense, you can go to in Garamai, that is the best because it's almost 100% you can Speed and... Man, speed you can get it in Rikiki in Rock 1, Slide-wise for Squawker in Rock 1, it's about the same odds in spawning those one. Special attack, Gasly, in the Overworld. Oh, speed, oh wow, speed is about here. Let's see if you fire. No, that's not fair. <laughs> it, really, it really looks so much like you fire, because it's so small. And it's outside there, just there, you know. I think, I think it's outside there. Oh, I thought that was a decent good. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh wait, where was I? Yeah, special defense and special attack, you can get it in the same place, in the watch over tower. Yeah, in the watch over tower rooms over there. In the, it's in the watch over there. It's also the place where you can get a, a very special promo, a very special den, where it, it requires a ticket for you to drop a... Uh, yeah, it requires a ticket to... How do you call it? You drop a ticket so that you create a den, a special den, for events. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what events over there you can get, so yeah. Like a G-Max. If I remember there's a G-Max Kokoja, or Apple in Japan, so yeah, a very special event. Two more, two more attack. See, it's that fast. It's really that fast. Oh, I'm pretty glad you see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you managed to see that I get a six attack boost. Plus six, effort, plus six attacks. So yeah. And after this, I need to attack into HP. Oh, Cameron is here. I'm wondering, Cameron will do. Can I get how much effort value? Oh, special defense. Yeah, I don't need special defense. I need HP now. So now... So now I'm gonna switch into... Okay, because I've... I have already done, I've already completed 252 and 252 stats So there's a remaining of 4 effort value left Which is I'm gonna use it to invest in my HP So To hasten the process, I can actually defeat 2 Squabbert To gain a 4 effort value But because I only left 4 effort value left, I can just make it hold a power weight item And you will effectively give me the additional 4 effort value instead of the 8 because maximum you can gain the effort value is 510 total. So it depends on how EV how much effort value spread that you want to boost it into. Like you can give you can give it a hundred speed, hundred hundred speed, hundred attack, hundred HP, hundred defense, and 100 special defense and the remaining 500 uh, and, a, and a 10 on let's say the stats that I have I didn't mention you can do it you can do it that way as long there's a total of 510 but I've already done uh, 252 and 252 at 252 attack and 252 speed so I only left 4 uh, I only left 4 of a value and yeah this is a place where I train my speed and HP Scrover is for HP the bird is a speed so yeah 
I've done my effort value training. So, actually, yeah, I think 61 level you can have a good range on how much effort value it, it how much effort value it, it has. You can check it. You can check it. So right now I'm going to give you a lucky egg as I'm going to do a dead exploit to increase my experience. So yeah, let me check my stats. So Pokemon Showdown is a really good way to check your spat to check your stats. So yeah. So as you can see I just make sure that you are in the right nature naughty nature so in the Pokemon showdown you just make sure that it's naughty nature uh, best 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 and defense but the, you didn't invest in defense so so it shouldn't affect your your uh, you don't really need to require your def you don't need to pay attention to your defense so what best means is that best means it has a maximum of effort value of IV sorry what am I talking about it has a max IV best has a max IV decent I'm not that sure but I don't really need to care because I didn't pump in my effort value for it so yeah once I reach level 100 our hyper train is defense and see again to see whether it coincide with my defense stats it should coincide so yeah so all are max IV except for defense so I should pretty much get the same level 61 so yeah just type in 61 so yeah my HP is 182 my HP is 182 as you can see it has 182 stats my attack is 174 yep correct it coincides uh, defense don't look at it because it's not the same but once you reach level 100 and you hyper train it should be the same special attack I didn't invest in it it's the same 119 special defense is the same speed 123 it is the same so this means that if it all coincides everything you have successfully EV train your mod Uh, unfortunately this is a brand new stream so yeah I'm just gonna continue for making it making this as a part 2 for how I going to train my mon so yeah where was I uh, so yeah all of my mons are in sync all my stats are in sync so now you just to level him level my SQ up So what I will do is I will put it in my Poké Job, have a lucky egg, and I will fly all the way to a PC. So yeah, what right now what I'm doing is I'm going to level them, level him up in a through a Poké Job using a the dead exploit. This is the second fastest way to level up. The fastest, the fastest is the fastest is of course use rare candy or the experience, uh, or the experience level. So at the same time, I can also do a lot over here. Oh wow, PP up, nice. Man, I have did tons of PP up. So four, P if I'm not wrong, four PP up will give you a bottle cap. So yeah. And what am I doing? Yeah. So right now I'm trying to activate my exploit. I'm trying to activate my exploit. So yeah, first connect to the internet. Because I'm holding a handheld mode, uh I will go into a link better and single better. So in a handheld mode, unfortunately my airplay mode is disabled. Unfortunately. If you can airplay mode just airplane mode on and off, you'll be good to go. So because I'm in handheld mode, I will just activate my sleep mode. 
try to connect again and it will shows me yeah communication has error please try again later so if you use the airplane mode it will show the same result and this will give you a glitch and the date exploit has been activated so now I can go to the pocket job and choose a level 30 situation so over here I will choose a mon this is a mon that I want to level up oh I just realized it's a max I have a max dynamics level <laughs> so press X B and yes send and make sure it's a whole day so that you can gain as much experience as possible so I will keep this menu in place because there's I also I have seen another level 30 task go to a date exploit go to your date setting I mean increase one day and make sure you has a one minute increase by one day at one minute for some reason it for some reason it will work yeah and there it's completed your date skip has been exploited <laughs> and that's how you level up until you reach level 100 so if you have more mons yep it's a lot easier than this way and sometimes you can gain if so yeah X B A then spam A and now because there is no more tasks a level 30 task so I'm going to refresh the task to do so I will just press B until I come out from the menu and I did exploit over here if you want to do a loto you can do the loto uh, I don't want to do a loto yet so yeah I, I, I don't need I don't need any more PP up or rare candy so yeah then you just do the same plus one hour no plus one day and plus one minute check your pocket job and it should be completed so yeah with this date exploit is really useful not only just to date skip to get your shiny frame you can also to level up your mon you can get your berries try to farm items like your mint if you want to if you don't have enough battle points you can farm your mint so yeah and yeah you can see all the new tasks is available so yeah i'm just gonna do this keep on doing this until i hit level 100 
Oh, it's really easy. You can just spend your experience ever. Your experience can be on me. Yeah. No, you can do that too. You can just close it. So yeah, with this gate exploit, it's really useful. You can do so many things with this gate exploit. From berries, yeah, you can find berries too. A specific berry that you're interested in. Wow, okay, there's a lot of level 30. 3 level 30. Oh, but it's still not enough to hit 700. <laughs> it's about 4, about 4 levels game. Every task is about 4 levels, or 3 levels. Then yeah, even longer. I saw 11 86. So let's see how much. <coughs> Total is going to gain 2 levels every time I do a pass. Oh man, the this one is actually not easy to level up. I thought it's really easy. This is a normal one. Yeah, this is a last level 30. Oh wow, it's really okay. Yeah, I was wrong. This one has a very high level experience game. Wow, it's actually even higher than legendaries. Or maybe I'm part of legendaries. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Wow, this, this penguin is really, it's really quite tough to train. <laughs> I thought it's very really easy. Apparently not. Because usually at like Desert Goon, Obstacle Goon, or... Or... Closer, at level 80 or 90, you still can gain 3 levels. Oh, this is a good amount. Yeah, this is, might be probably enough. That's nice. I hit level 100. Those are 4. 4 times 2, 8. Oh, need one more. This should be level 100. This should be. Now I spent a good 10 minutes. Or 15 minutes. Just to double check. Huh? Yep, I'm hit level 100. So, safe. Because you don't want to grind everything over again. <laughs> so now, let's see my move set. Because let's gonna, I'm gonna EV train it. So now, okay. Uh, I need liquidation and yeah, my move is I need liquidation, substitute, and belly drum. Uh, let's see if belly drum is a. Remember whether you can do a learn up. Oh no, it doesn't. Man, I thought you can. So it seems like it's gonna be a belly drum user. So, I mean, uh, it's an 8 move. <laughs> so I need to breed it. 
I need to breed for it. Luckily, it's a female. So, I uh, in order to have an egg move, there's actually another exploit for it. Actually, it's not really exploit. The Masuda actually also explained in one of the link. I, I can't remember where is it, but he also said that as long as uh, two of the same species, you can pass the egg move to one another. As long as you are, as long as it's in daycare, meaning if you have two meal, where if you have two meal where one of the meal has an eight move, and the, the other meal has a empty slot, it can pass the eight move to the other. That's the beauty of this in this Gen Eight. I prefer ice punch. I do like ice crash. So yeah. Then I am going to forget a move because I'm going to pass the egg move into this SQ. So because of this, yeah, you can once you catch a shiny, your shiny mon can be a your shiny mon can have an egg move. So let's say if you have a sorry, okay, I already, I already done it. So let's say if you have a final evolution, let's say a Rilla Boom wants to have fake out, you need to evolve your Rilla Boom. You need to evolve your so once you breed it to get a egg move for your from blue key, evolve it into Rilla Boom, and you can do that exploit. So yeah, it has to be the same species. It cannot be the same evolution line. It has to be the same species. Rilabu with Rilabu, not Guki with Rilabu. So meaning you need to meaning you need to hatch a Guki with fake out, level, evolve it into Rilabu, and then yeah, do the do the day day that you keep both Rilabu in a daycare so that you can transfer into your Rilabu. So yeah. That is a trick for it. So now, who can learn? Who can I pass this belly drum with SQ? So with this, I need to Google because I'm also not sure. So yeah, let me find out. Where is it? Mm, I want to show you where is mine. Yep, okay. So how, how I Google is this is S Q A I S U U. I always look for Surrey B. It gives me a really good place to do. So I will scroll all the way. Actually, I can, I can, I can scroll. Just Google belly drum. Yep, belly drum. Oh, ice crash is also an egg move. Yeah, but I prefer ice punch because of a high. Yes, a hundred percent accuracy. I do like ice crash. Sorry. So yep, click the details, and it will give me an option on who I have a belly drum. So yes. So you look at the, I'm not sure you can see my mouse. I'm not sure you can see my mouse. If you can see my mouse, just let me know. So yeah, uh, learn to level up. So, oh, this is a good, it's not a gala, this is a good, so you can't use it. So the, I guess the only available is either Dimentarian if you have it, or if not, Polyware. Poly so yeah, then you just gotta find and catch the Pokemon that can learn to level up, breed it with, and make sure when you catch it's a meal. Uh, okay, so let's say body wet. Then you scroll down and see which level you can learn belly drum. Then you just evolve it in this manner. So yeah, that's how 
then you make make sure you catch a male polywag or polytoad or polywag if you evolve it then you breed it with sq and you can have an 8 move so but for my case i already have a belly drum user yep i already have a belly drum user so yeah where is my Darmaterian? Oh, my Darmaterian is on Belly Drum. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where is my Belly Drum? Actually, technically, I can. Technically, I can use my this Darmaterian and breed it with it. Technically. Uh, but I just don't want to waste my TM away. So let's say Darmaterian. When can it learn level? Can it learn level up? Oh, okay, yes. So yeah, uh, with this in mind, I can be with it. It's a competitive really, so yeah. I try not to breed. As in, uh, what, 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 am I, what am I saying? <laughs> As in, I will get rid of the Mon, make it learn Balintron to a move that I have, I can easily make it level up, or teach it, teach it with, or remember a move, because it does not cause a TM away. So yeah, Balintron, get rid of Icicle Crash for the time being. Go into a daycare. So yeah, if you need an egg move, it's gonna take a little longer. A little longer. Otherwise you can just teach a TM away. So yeah, not bad. I've showcased how I team build, how I EV train, and how to uh, transfer your 8 move over. All in one. <laughs> so yeah, just wait until the daycare has full her arms. Yeah, I can collect it. So this bird or this penguin will have a belly drum move already. Then I will take back my Darmaterian. Just keep the ice face. Just keep my SQ over there because I want to transfer my move over. So yeah, with this Darmaterian has an 8 move. It does not transfer it. It does not transfer to the penguin or the SQ. It needs to be an SQ to transfer into to transfer to one another so yeah so this only can work in gen 8 or in sword and shield which is kind of fair yeah which is like make life easier so like let's say in, in other gens if you found a shiny let's say a shiny uh, Dragon Knight that you want to make it learn belly drum. Some okay. Uh, somehow manage. Can it learn? Okay, if it can learn belly drum. If it can't learn belly drum and it can learn a, a belly drum using it move, then yeah, you can use that shiny Dragon Knight to have a belly drum. In case it, <coughs> excuse me, in this method, yeah. Otherwise you. Once you catch that shiny dragon knight, you will not be able to learn a belly drum. Let's see if this dragon knight can learn belly drum <laughs> in 8 move. So yeah, I hatched a shiny, no, <laughs> I didn't hatch a shiny, I hatched a bird, the penguin. Oh no, I don't. It should have a belly drum. 
talk to the lady. Yup, it has a belly drum, and it's a meal. So right now I'm just gonna transfer it, but in order to transfer, it needs for unfortunately it needs some time to transfer. So yeah, and because this is a male and a female, you need to be have an egg, then it will be transferred. Unfortunately, yeah. If it's two male or two female, I think a good two minute, a good two minute, a minute or two. And you have it. So yeah, just let me hatch it. Hatch another egg. <clears throat> and now my this penguin, I can put it in my extra. As it's egg move already. So yeah, because of the 8 move, it's gonna take a little longer, like about 20 minutes longer. 20 to 30 minutes longer, depending. Depending on which, how many 8 move you have. And depending on the 8 hatch too. Yeah. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I have level 100, so I just need to hyper train one of my, my stats. Because if I remember correctly, defense has a very weak... It's not a max IV defense, so I need to hyper train it. Okay, catch my egg. Hopefully, it's a shiny. <laughs> impossible, it will be a shiny. Impossible. It's possible it's in 1 in 4000, so yeah. Ah, it's not. Imagine if it is. Okay, so, yep. Uh, so yep, as you can see, my shiny SQ has a belly drum already. So yep, it all coincides with it. Then with this, I will just put it in my extra, as I don't need it anymore for the time being. Then, yeah, I need to remind myself that. <coughs> I need to relearn my my icicle crash for my Darmitarian in case if I forget and I use a belly drum without icicle crash for my Darmitarian in the in the rank battles or oh, that's gonna be a failure. Okay, then I will go into the battle tower and hyper train. So there is actually two ways to farm border cap. There's actually actually there are many ways, but the two more prominent way is yeah my my defense is not. So I just get one potter cap. How about training? So yeah, I can also tell you where I can get my potter cap. So yeah, done. Put it in. I want it to have. How to hold it in with select berry because it's gonna be very good with it. Eh, no, I want to give it to it. Hmm? Ok, 
be kind of glitchy now. I, I have no idea why. Okay, <laughs> I have no, I have no idea what happened. I don't know why I can't give it, give a berry. So yeah, and let me show you where to farm water caps. So yeah, you are actually done creating your uh, competitive SQ. And just to be sure, because you have date skip, synchronize, synchronize it. So yeah, just to let you know, if you're in the, if you have activated your date exploit, uh, restart your game, because I don't think it's a good idea to have your date, to have your exploit activated while playing your rank battles. It's not a good idea. So yeah. So anyway, this is one of the area to farm your bottle cap. It's gonna take a long time because it re requires luck. So you just talk to this left guy of the miner and make sure you have enough wards and you can just spam to farm your bottle cap. This is one way. So you just keep pressing yes until you get bottle cap. Another way is to do Dynamax, no not Dynamax, is to do raids. So you go to Pokemon Online and you do, sorry, you connect to your Ycom and you just go to raids and there's a 3% chance of catching it. Which is quite unreliable because it's, that is going to take a long time too. So the most effective way is the cram o machine. So yeah. cram o machine is over here. This is the most effective way. So let me give you the link of the Chromomatic. The guide on how to do. So you can follow me up. You can follow my way up. So I found out that I actually found out that to get a border cap you need where is it you need one armor right or two big nugget and one rare candy or a pp up or if not one armor right or two pp up or three pp up so let me show you so yeah you select the desired output bottle cap and it will tell you how you can get a bottle cap so one armor right or Gosh, why can't I do this? Okay, give me some time. Let me refresh. Amorite ore is a fighting. One Amorite ore, uh, what does it say? PP up. You will get a bottle cap, as you can see. So yeah, one armor right or three PP up, you get a bottle cap. If you have an additional red candy, it will also be a bottle cap. So you can just play around with it. Like make sure that the value of the bottle cap does not go too much below or too over. So yeah, you can play around with it. If you don't, so that's the reason why I choose PP up. Because to farm PP up is really easy. If you know how to do the dead exploit, you can use you can farm your PP up in the Lotto. So that's where you can get a lot of PP up for that for it. And to get Amorite all is also very easy where you can just 
just keep fighting uh, in the Pokemon raid, you will guarantee one armor right all. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want to find red candy, you can go to a place called the the honey honeycomb tree there. Yeah. Then you make sure that you just fight combi or vesper queen. It will have a high chance of getting a red candy. So, yeah. That's where you can farm red candy too. So if you don't have any other mon, other items, uh, one way is you just select your desired output. Border cap, uh, because border cap it varies a lot. Excuse me, it can be bug, dark dragon, electric fairy, or fighting. So it really depends on what it is. So you just have to play, guess and check, select an item, because once you have a border cap, it the current output it should be 141 to 150 so if you can land a hit let's say you can't have a bug memory you don't want to trade your bug memory away for it so yeah let's say anima berry because you can get anima berry quite easily you don't want to use ability capsule because <laughs> it's very uh, an expensive option so i guess i'm right all is an easy way to farm Maybe another Amorite or Not enough yet. The value is not enough. So you need at least one level 40, which I guess a bit nugget. Three bit nugget. Well, actually, to get a bit nugget is also not easy. <laughs> yeah. So, we just gotta do some guess and check. So, what I found out is, yeah, one armor right or three PP up is the best way to get your bottle cap. So, yeah. That is how I found my bottle cap. So, with this in mind, you can have a reassurance of it. Armor right all is so easy to farm. And because of that exploit, I have so many PP up. And tada! You got a butter cat! So, yeah, that is how I EV train. It's if you it's gonna require a lot of setup to do your EV train. So yeah, I guess I finally come make a competitive team build for SQ. So yeah. I